When that flash goes off, you might get that dreaded feeling in your stomach. We're talking about speed cameras, and you may have noticed some new ones in East Providence, along with those bright neon signs warning you to slow down. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo has new information tonight on how much going too fast might cost you. Sheena? We might start noticing those bright flashes in East Providence, but for the next two months, the city's only giving out warning tickets in the mail. It will tell you how fast and where you're going. And after that grace period, each ticket is $50. When you see one of these, you better double check how fast you're going because in a few seconds, a camera will do that for you. Nine speed cameras are now up and running in school zones in East Providence. Our hope is to simply change people's behavior, uh, motorist behavior, have them slow down. Most of the cameras are on Pawtucket Avenue, with the exception of the cameras on Forbes Street near Riverside Middle School, and they all look like this. Townies are familiar with how it works, having experienced driving through Pawtucket or Providence, two cities that have already implemented a similar system. You get people behind you and they want to go fast, and I'll turn around and point, <laughs> and then they say, oh, okay. And while we did talk to people off camera who weren't happy with the rollout, many tell 12 News they're okay with it because it's as simple as following the rules. Be safe and that's it. For the first 30 school days starting this week, drivers will get a warning ticket in the mail if they're captured speeding. And once it's the new year and kids are back from winter break, a ticket will cost you $50. East Providence's police chief says the cameras will be activated from 7 a.m to 4 p.m. on school days. We're not the first. We hope to have learned from others, you know, uh, hiccups along the way, and we anticipate a smooth rollout. So there is a little bit of a buffer, but after a few miles over the speed limit, the city says you're at risk for a ticket. And the city also plans on rolling out a red light camera system, but right now there's no word on when that will start. I'm Sheena Mushudo, 12 News.